when it comes to just pure mindset, you talk about in the book something I think that's surprising that needs to be talked about more. You basically say, don't be afraid, but worry more. Because everything in the modern world, the zeitgeist is like, don't worry, everything just works out. But you're, there's quite a few business people, great business people, your you know, Forbes list that say, it's the paranoid who survive. I, How do you balance that with having happiness, but also worrying about I, I have no fear because I do my due diligence. Okay. Okay, so if I do a deal, I deserve to get kicked if it doesn't work because I did my due diligence. I don't do make-believe performance. I always do a worst-case performance for myself. And I know there's a paddle for your ass if you don't watch out. Yeah, okay. I like that so, saying, okay. so, paddle so, for your ass. So every day I get up, I have no fear of doing any deal, but I also worry about everything. And I worry about where can that paddle get me? Right. And so I better know my stuff every day. Right. So it's more of a matter of, it's almost like you're not an optimist, you're not a pessimist, you're a realist. No, I'm a re 100%. And I think, the, I, I told somebody about this, I think yesterday I'm driving in the car, I don't, and I said, I don't think because I own something it's worth more. Okay, mm -hmm. you know how everybody thinks, oh, well, my house is worth more, my boat's worth more, when they're trying to sell it. Right. I'm a realist. It's only worth this. Oh, I know. I sold uh, Concept last year. And he said, you know, you were right on. It's just, that's all it was worth. But nobody, everybody thought it was worth more, but that's truly all it was worth. Yeah. And, and I owned it and I sold it. But, but people have got to be a realist of what their talents are, what their abilities are, uh, and, and do your due diligence always. Yeah.